guys, it's me, Lolita Petho with Length. Thank you for clicking on my video. I wanted to go ahead and make this video about the products that I can either no longer use because of uh, they have uh, heavy oils or butters in the first five ingredients or products that I have used um, and I didn't like the outcome of my hair, okay? So without further ado, let's just jump right into this video, okay? Hey guys, I am back and this is the box that I have that is just full of stuff that I will no longer be using in my hair. Some of this stuff is brand new, but I'm gonna start, I'm sorta of, kinda in no particular order, but this is just like the biggest thing that's in this box and it's one of the things that I just used all the time last year. And it is the Wetline Extreme. I do only have a little bit because um, even after I started doing the Black Girl Curl method, I went back to using this, um, but I pro this is probably part of the reason that my hair started having like, you know, some adverse reactions. So, but that's what I was left with. And that's probably, that's just enough for one more hair um, style. So I don't feel so bad with throwing it away. But when I first started the Black Girl Curl um, techniques or whatever, I had like maybe like this much left. And I just, oh, my heart won't let me throw it away, but that's gonna be gone. Um, I also have the Diva Curl Local Delight Weightless Waves um, Mild Lather Cleanser. I'm going to get rid of this. This used to be a favorite of mine, but I don't know if you guys know, but you know, there was a big Diva Curl controversy last year, maybe your prior about it bringing people hair out. And I can say that um, I felt like my hair started thinning out, but when that happened, I actually, I, I just, I stopped using it because this is, this is not my first bottle. This is probably bottle number three, honestly. Um, at one point I had the big leader, um, but I stopped using it and I kind of started using other stuff and that allowed my hair to re-thicken up. Um, and I, I, I didn't associate it with, I don't know. I just, I did associate it with this, but I didn't associate it to the point where I thought my hair was coming out because I didn't have any hair coming out but I do feel like my hair became thinner. But anyway, so now that is going to go in the trash as well. Um, I have this gel from Hydrothermal Naturals. You guys know, I just, I did a video about a month or so ago about the Hydrothermal Natural products that I purchased. Um, right now, the only thing I am using is the hair, skin, and nail vitamins which I happen to like. The only thing I don't like is that, oh my God, they stink so bad. But I told my daughter, because they stink so bad, I know they're gonna work. But <laughs> um, I tried all the stuff. And so this, um, once I look at looked at the ingredients, what made me trash this is, the second ingredient is PVP. And when I looked at PVP, it is a cheap plastic type gel. Um, that I do think, if I remember correctly, they said that it had, it could be linked to cancer as well. So, of course, so I used this once before I looked at the ingredients and I was like, well, PVP. I've heard of PVP, but didn't really know what it was. And so when I looked it up, automatically threw it in the box. And then I have the, now I'm gonna keep going with Hydrothermal Naturals. So the next one that I have from them is the Aloe Curl Enhancing Twisting Cream. This made the, um, the ingredients are fine as far as not having castor oil or butters or anything like that in the first five ingredients. But what I didn't like about this is that this left my hair looking ashy. And yeah, I, I didn't like how my hair felt. I, I, I didn't like how it looked. The definition was there, but I just didn't like how my hair looked or felt. So I'm not gonna use that. Um, I think that might be it for Hydrothermal Naturals. Yeah, so we're gonna move on to Oyen. Again, I think it's in the same video because I think that was like an unboxing video with the um, Hydrothermal Naturals, but I purchased Oyen's Shine and Define Gentle Styling Serum. I'm really sad, I never even got to use this. This is brand new, never used. 
um, but I cannot use it because it has um, a butter or something in those first five ingredients. It has water, aloe vera juice, um, sea vegetable, coconut oil, and then coconut oil, castor oil, and unrefined shea butter. So the within those first five ingredients, it has three of the no-no's. So that I was not able to use. The hairdo, I love the hairdo. This is one of my favorites. I have used it, but I'm not gonna continue to. Um, the second ingredient is castor oil. Then we have olive oil. So right away, even hairdo is a no-no. So sad, so sad that hairdo is a no-no. See if I have anything else by oil. Oh yeah, then I have the burnt sugar pomade. Again, never even used it. This I'm gonna keep, I'm putting this on my skin. This, yeah, this going on my skin. So that I will keep, <laughs> but I won't use that in my hair. And then let's move on to, this is a foaming, foaming pomade. There's nothing wrong with this. This I like. I just have nothing else in here. I don't even know why I still had this bottle. Um, I won't say that I won't revisit this. I may, but I'm away. This is a professional line. This is by Paul Mitchell. Um, a lot of professional products don't have all those heavy oils and butters um, in it, guys. So there's nothing wrong with foaming pomade. It's just an empty bottle. <laughs> Um, I have the Innocence I Create Finish. Um, this came in the box that I had purchased. They have a, a, a like an introductory box for hairstylists, and this just came in the introductory box. Um, I don't see a benefit for using it. I don't see anything wrong with using it, but I also don't see a benefit of using it. So I just threw it in my box. I'm just I'm trying to downsize my stuff. So. I just threw it in the box. Um, the AG Cloud. This is something that was recommended in the Black Girl Curls um, Wash Your Damn Hair ebook. This, I don't like how it makes my hair look. It makes my hair look really dull. Um, and normally I have um, some shine. So even this, cause my hair is four days old now, but even with this, I still have a natural shine to it. So. I didn't like this for that purposes, so that is going away. And then I have Cura Care. This is one of my favorite uh, co-washes. This is their cleansing cream. Um, you guys know I love Ayurvedic herbs, and that's what, like one of the things I really like about this is that it has amla, neem, and shikaka in it. However, this does have, um, let's see, water, satiric alcohol, it might make the cut. I don't think there's anything wrong with these ingredients, so to say, guys. Again, like I said, Phil Care, Care of course, it's a professional line. And a lot of the professional lines do not have a lot of oils and butters in the first few ingredients. Um, it ain't but a little bit left. I'm going to hold on to that, too. <laughs> Then we have coconut, Shea Moisture Coconut Hibiscus Holding Shine Moisture Mist. I, this used to be a favorite of mine, but it has coconut oil in it, so to the side it goes. This is a deep conditioner that I purchased from the Professional Beauty Supply Store. And as you guys can see, I did use it, um, but it wasn't anything that I really, really, really loved. Um, it meets, it has the, you know, the requirements. However, I didn't feel like a huge benefit to my hair with using it. So I just want to trash that. Then of course we have Carol's Daughter Healthy Hair Butter. Oh, I used to love this stuff. This, oh, I used to love it, but can't use it cause of course, without even reading the ingredients, the name of it is Healthy Hair Butter. So of course it's full of butters. Then we have Aunt Jackie's Quench Leave-In Conditioner. This is a favorite leave-in conditioner of mine as well. Um, can't really see the ingredients. Oh, here it is. Water, glycerin, satiric alcohol, aloe vera juice, um, benhydramonium, methyl sulfate. So this, the ingredients on this look okay as well, but I find that 
I feel like it doesn't work as well, well, as well as on my hair as when I was using it first time. So like last year when I first chopped my hair off, um, pretty much what I was using is quench and curl balls. And I felt like it just gave me an um, amazing results. But for whatever reason, I'm not feeling the quench anymore. So this is going in, um, not in the trash. This is, I will probably give this to my daughter because I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Um, matter of fact, like, you know, this, the oil and stuff, I'm gonna give it to my daughter. I might even get, no, this butter is too, I have another daughter. I'm gonna give my other daughter the butters. And I know, guys, I know, but they're not following the black girl curls. They're not, they're not even interested. I have talked to them about it and they look at me with like this little bird face, like, you know, they could care less. Um, so, some of these ingredients I'm going to trash and some of them I will just pass along to my daughters. And so that I will pass along to my daughters. This I will pass along to my daughters. The Shea Moisture Curling Style um, Milk. This was a favorite of mine. I loved it. Um, honestly, I can't even tell you guys that I won't use it in the future. Like when my hair is back longer and I can do my braid outs. Honestly, I can't tell you guys that I won't revisit this, but for now, I'm gonna give this to one of my daughters. Um, this will be given to one of my daughters as well. So I have like a throwaway pile and a give to my daughter pile. And then I have, I purchased these little sample packs of the Aunt Jackie's Don't Shrink and I don't like the outcome of my hair, so that will go in the trash. They're just sample packs, so I will throw that away. And then I have the Miel Rosemary Mint Daily Styling Cream. This is something that I did like, I think I purchased this maybe like two years ago, guys. And it gave me like this an amazing flat twist. But um, the ingredients are water, sorbitol, acrylic something, methyl sulfate, copolymer, sweet almond oil. So actually, the ingredients on here are not, it's not necessarily a no-no, but it's just old. Like I said, I think this is, I used this like two years ago, and by the time I get enough, enough hair to do a twist out or a flat twist, it'll just be too old to hold on to. You guys know, like, most products have maybe like a three-year shelf life to it, and we're definitely, if we're not at three years, we're knocking on three years door, honey, so... I'm just gonna trash it. And then we only have a few more items, okay? So stick with me, stick with me, girl. <laughs> we have the As I Am Classic Leave-In Conditioner. Um, I won't be using this anymore. It's, it's just that I don't feel the benefits to my hair. Like, once I stop using the oils and the butters and the leave-ins, actually, my hair looks different, feel different. And when I put these type of creamy leave-ins in my hair, it seemed like it, it does more coating and weight to my hair that I no longer like. So that I will throw away. Oh my God. Then the Curl Enhancing Smoothie. This I really only used to like to use on my puffs. Um, So what I would do, I would, of course, you know, I would spray all of my hair with water. I would definitely mist, you know, around um, my edges. Um, I would put a good palm size, well not that much, not that much, let me take that back, about this much, of the Curl Enhancing Smoothie, massage it all through my hair, uh, rub some on my hairline because I would be following that up with, with some Eco Styler Gel. And putting this on as a base before I put the Eco Styler on really helps to keep that Eco Styler from like turning into like a helmet on my head. But you guys know, Black Girl Curls, Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie, coconut it has coconut oil it has um shea butter so that's a no no so that i will be giving to one of my daughters i'm gonna put that in that pile we are down to some stuff that really 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 hurts this oil right here now this top didn't come on here i saved this top from something else but this oil by curls was like one of my favorite oils y'all this is probably like my 10th bottle, no lie. This oil is a scalp treatment. It's a so so fresh scalp treatment. Oh my god, it made my scalp feel so good. It just it made my scalp feel so good. It tingles, it feels refreshing. And so I would use it like as a pre-pool. And then right here in the middle, 
before I stopped with the oils and the butters. My scalp right here always was kind of dry, tight, and itchy. So I would spritz my scalp with a little water and then I would go in with this and massage it and it would just feel so amazing. This hurts to not use. Uh, I'm gonna give this to one of my daughters. That hurt to not use, it really does, cause it just made my scalp feel amazing. However, um, I can tell a difference um, with my hair when I stop using the oils and the butters. Like I said, this part of my hair right here, it never really curled, and I don't know if you guys can tell, but this is curling. So it never curled. Um, it was all, it was almost like it was heat damage, and I don't press my hair like that. You know, when it was longer, I don't press my hair like that. So, but that was, and I just assumed that's the texture of that hair. Um, and then my scalp also stayed a little dry, tight, and itchy. When I stopped using the oils and the butters, these curls right here now match my other curls. As well as I no longer have that dry, tight, itchy scalp. I just don't. So, I'm not, I'm not gonna use the oil because I love it and because I have it and I don't wanna trash it. Because I've seen the benefits of not using it. So, it has to go. What's in here is Jamaican black castor oil. I think this is a mixture of rosemary and peppermint mixed together. And this kind of hurts to get rid of as well, but, um, she has to go too, you know? So then what I have in here are tools, okay? This, and this has a little hair in it, okay? So I apologize in advance. But I purchased this shampoo, then that's what it is actually. It's a shampoo. I might use it for shampoo purposes. I was gonna throw it away. I purchased it because I think her name is Rhonda. She makes uh, YouTube videos and she also is now a natural hair salon owner in um, Florida but when she and she oh my god y'all I'm drawing a blank because she now also I think it's nurture she now has her own curl defining um gel and when she um, when you see her videos of how she do her own wash and goes and how she do her clients wash and goes she used this thing right here and so when my hair was longer, I purchased this to use and I didn't like it. Um, like even in her videos, you can hear like the <laughs> um, and that doesn't bother me so much because even my three row comb that I have, sometimes when I'm going through it, you can hear it, but this it just felt like it was ripping hair. It really did. So I was like, um, I ain't using this thing. Um, and I was going to throw it away, but no, guys, I am, I'm going to keep it and I'm going to use it specifically to um, shampoo my scalp because that's what it is. It's actually a shampoo brush, but she used it to define um, and, uh, the ends of her people's hair, but that I'm keeping. Okay, and now this last thing that I purchased, y'all know I use my little three row comb. Y'all know this is my baby. I have been using this for years I came across it in Sally's and I was just like oh let me see and I paid $3.99 for it. it's not flimsy it's very sturdy I love it I was looking at Maya uh, the owner of the do she also has a hair salon um, it's in Macon Georgia and she has a three row comb that she came out with I was like oh well, let me let me get that one because what I was thinking is, so it has this rat tail comb in it, right? Because you guys know, mainly when I use my comb, I would use my rat tail comb to um, separate my hair, then turn around and go through with this and define. And so I thought that this would lessen the amount of time that I spent with two combs in my hand. Cause I'm like, okay, I can just do this, shoot, do this, shoot. And then matter of fact, that's even how Maya was using it in one of her videos when she demonstrated it. However, I don't like it. First off, first of all, the plastic on this is so much more flimsier than this. This is, I mean, and maybe she made it like that. Maybe she wanted it to be more flexible or something. I don't know, but this feels like a cheaper plastic than this right here. Um, so that was the first thing. Um, well, that for me, that was the major thing. 
But then the second thing is that this cost me $10. And that three row comb at Sally's is either $2.99 or $3.99. So I paid $10 for this as well as I had to pay for shipping and handling. Um, and then I don't like the quality of it. That's that's the number one thing for me is that I don't like the quality of it. And it feels like a, um, a tool that you would get with your baby doll set. If anyone that has ever purchased or like half of themselves or purchased their little girl, sometimes you can buy them a doll set and it comes with um, combs and brushes. This brush feel like a doll brush. That's what it feels like. So this I'm actually gonna throw away. I paid $10 plus shipping. But I'm, I'm, I like the, this. I'm probably gonna keep this for something that, um, like some makeup or something. So this I'm keeping. <laughs> but this I'm trashing. So that go on my throwaway pile. So guys, I don't believe that is it. Um, I have been slowly going through my stuff, throwing away my stuff when I was still like, oh no, I can't throw that away. And I went back to using it. But then like I said, I saw my hair have an adverse reaction to it. It's just, it just didn't look as good. Or, and it didn't feel as good as when I was just using um, the Black Girl Curls technique, method, whatever you want to call it. So now I'm kind of, I'm completely over it. Like how I feel about throwing this stuff away, it don't really hurt. Not really, because I don't see it being beneficial to my hair. And I'm definitely at the point in my natural hair journey. I have been natural since um, December 15th, 2009. And I remember exactly because it was the day before my birthday. So, <laughs> and I big chopped. I was shorter than this when I, um, when I cut it off in 2009. So, I mean, you know, I've had this a long hair journey at this point and I have used everything under the sun at this point and so to find something that works find a system that works to build a regimen that works and I'm going to define works because I hear Aisha in my head saying what work mean <laughs> but work mean um it's leaving my hair hydrated and it's leaving my curls looking nice and curly and because of the hydration and the longevity of the products that I'm using, my hair looks good long term. Like I said, this is a day four wash and go. This is on a TWA and most people have a hard time keeping their definition with a TWA and I don't do anything special to it. I either sleep on my satin pillowcase, I put on my bonnet, or I put on my buff. One of those three. In the morning times, when I get up, do I have a pick over here? I have something like a pick. In the morning when I get up, like if this is a, a, no oils, no butters, no water, anything like that, because it, it it still feels nice and moisturized. I don't if there's no need to add water to it to soften it up. I don't have to soften it up. Um, and so I would take my pick and I just go in and I lift it. And what I'm, what I primarily do is lift this top because I want this top to look, you know, a little more hide it. But yeah, but like if this is smushed to my head, I just, I'm just gonna lift it. That's it. And then you know, back here if I slip on it, I just lift it gently. Of course, of course, I'm not combing all the way through it. It's just an end pick, end pick in peak so that's what I do and you know I just I shape it to my liking if I want to do my edges I do my edges um but it just depends on how I feel um and that's it so for me that's what I mean when I say oh it works it works mean that my hair is staying hydrated my curls are looking nice and my hairstyle is long, is lasting at least four or five days. That's all I've ever wanted out of any hairstyle. Give me four or five days without re-oiling, re-buttering, re-wetting, redoing, you know, and that's what I'm getting. So for me, when I say it works, that's what I mean by it works, okay? So that is the end of this video, guys. My next video... I know I'm, um, I'm going to show you guys my updated um, wash and go regimen, but I also want to do my Black Friday unboxing, but I think I'm waiting on maybe two more packages to come, 
So look, be on the lookout for that within the next week or two. Um, so the next video is either going to be the TWA um, or it's going to be my Black Friday unboxing, okay? Either way, guys, I want you to stay tuned. Um, and before we go, what I would like you guys to do, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you're following Black Girl Curls techniques, methods, um, do you like it? Did you like it? Like, did you try it and you didn't like it? Tell me why you didn't like it. If you tried it and you like it, let me know what you like about it. Also, let me know what you had to clear out of your stash, okay? Because I know I'm not the only natural hair girl out here that had to get rid of some stuff. I also know that it hurt to get rid of some stuff. I also know that it hurt a lot to get rid of oils and butters. So, let me know down in the comments, what did you have to get rid of that just kind of hurt your soul, sis? <laughs> Let me know. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.